And we've come back to Mass Effect 2. Dark and Ran having to once again save Cerberus from itself. Hello. Right. Let's get right on with the saving the d dumbasses from themselves. Yeah, that was a solid wall there, but okay. Minor details. Commander, you need to find Vulcan and Prometheus stations and override the lockdown from each facility. Doesn't matter yes, which one yes, you hit first, know. but you can't enter Atlas Station until you've dealt with both. Also, keep an eye out for Cerberus security mechs. The VI has likely taken control of them. Archer out. Yeah, makes sense. And that's why me saying it would probably have just cost I get 2.0. Or so what is it? Analysis. Defenseless herbivores are no match for guided missiles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Not wrong, but still. Geographic conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic life forms may wish to take note. I mean... It's not wrong. Okay. Okay, I like this stuff. I like this vehicle even more than I know what I do. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Yeah. Okay, let's see how my memory is on where... There's some data caches around here we can find. That's Atlas Station over there. So we can't deal with it yet. Yeah, my one to do it. You're definitely not setting me on this not doing firewalker thing. Like, do you just enjoy the hammerhead? Yeah. Enemy units nearby. You do! I most certainly don't. Yeah, it's our, I, we've already taken significant damage. I told you, made from paper mache. At yeah, least it repairs there, itself. Maybe there won't be too much fighting in Firewalker. But I mean, if it repairs itself, it's good. Yes, but the fact that there's a spattering of weapons fire and it's down for the almost down for the count. I mean, why can't I just take this? Probably because it wouldn't be able to get everyone you need to. Yeah, probably. The Giri was expecting something like that, like you wouldn't need to be able to get I mean, that too. Just to bump on a tiny slope. Did you expect anything less of me? No, not really. And also, I would never call this thing a tank. Tank implies Fine. armor. Fine, floating turret. <sighs> and to be fair, you yourself tend to go through enemy and it was pretty much. That's me. 
I'm just saying, Mass Effect seems to be the kind of sci-fi in which no armor is ever gonna be really all that tanky because the weapon is just so advanced. Since when do these guys have tracking missiles, right? Since then, it seems. Yeah. This is why I hate Firewalker. Commander, you need to find Vulcan and Prometheus station. But they also have their game missiles in Firewalker. Pretty much. The first Firewalker mission was entirely combatless, so there's not much way it could have gone. Scans indicate VI infection is present in nearby turrets. Also, is it me, or am I still hearing the heartbeat sound? I did Okay, as long as it's not just me. Very direct to the supply chain things. Your mix has also had tracking here. It seems to work better than theirs. Yeah, 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 two out of six. Again. <sighs> yeah, I don't where is the other one? Right there. Threat detection. Enemy units nearby. Someone will pass it along to Bioware that there are people like you who would love nothing more than a Mass Effect game with lengthy sections just like Firewalker. <coughs> and then there are players like me who could do just fine without. I mean, you would just say they went on lengthy. Yes. And I said, and I said, a new Mass Effect game could use lengthy segments just like this. So specifically segments that are like Firewalk, but long and frustrating for people who don't want to do it. I mean, I was mostly just referring to things like having access to using, to choosing different vehicles when going out to open areas. That's a wild idea there, Ram, but I support it. Right? Like, have the ability to choose between the make or the helmet head. Just get rid of the fucking whatever it was called from Andromeda. It was bad. Oh. It was like unarmed, I... Ran. <gasps> the horror. Yes. How horrifying. It was unarmed. Did it actually have to avoid combat or something? It just couldn't fight. So if you needed to fight and... something, you had to get out. Oh, okay. So there were actually enemies around it. Okay. Yes. I mean, what not matter if there weren't any enemies that were you were using it? But there were. So yeah, that's a good function. Right.
Because there's mean bots lying around out there. Is that probably cancels a checkpoint? I don't think God it does. You're the one who said that Mass Effect has Do a bit of uh, basic parkour with a, a hover tank. Yeah, imagine if you could do that with the uh, Mako. Uh, you know I like mobility a little more, so. Yeah, I know. Like us PC gamers like to say, having more choice is never a bad thing. <laughs> Using the propulsion jets also generated force in the opposite direction. I would, ima I would imagine they could generate that much though. They generate enough force to lift the vehicle off the ground. <laughs> yes, but here's some food for thought for you. It runs off a mass effect core like everything else, which can fuck with gravity, right? Thruster velocity is inadequate. Oh, then I don't know. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not done. Uh, the, um, the way mass effect cores work. Uh, you might, you probably didn't notice this, but um, at the end of the first game, when the Normandy launches its strike on Sovereign, Joker takes it up above Sovereign and then does this fast step maneuver that looks just like a jet in a dog type. That shouldn't work because it's in space. There's no drag. But because of the way Mass Effect cores work. He's basically, he can use it to simulate drag on the hull. interested in talking not in English at least. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Can you just fall over? I wish. Certainly would be convenient. Why can't Shepard's armor have jump jets, right? That blue. Oh, so I can have a warp whistle back to the vehicle. That blue. I guess in that sense, the, that's one of the few things I have against Mass Effect is the lack of actual you know, mobility options. Which is probably why I'm so glad to see something like the Hammerhead. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a reason nope. why not my Okay, what was that? There's another turret. Just eat myself past it. Oh. 
Yeah, you know, there's a reason one of my favorite shooters out there is, you know, worth them. <laughs> I'm have a nice. Yay! No shit. I'm not sure if that actually did something. No, but it never hurts a lot. I'm pretty sure it does actually. There might be a secret! It's also nice that we don't have to, you know, get off to get materials off the ground. Oh boy. Because you know very well that that was the equivalent of the mineral deposits in the first game. Basically, yeah. Fuck. Oh boy. How much did we... Not, nothing. Okay. Velocity is inadequate to clear the wall ahead. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, indeed. And I've decided whatever that it that is down there is most definitely not work. Well, if that wasn't enough to prove my theory that it's not that it's armor is paper machine, but it's just that the weapon in this game is way too much more advanced. What? You get drinks by a couple seconds from a turret, yet you can take a dip in lava, no problem. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about there. You sure? Can I... W w Hammerhead, what are you doing? Really me surviving now, huh? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. And it's basically unharmed. Shut up with your logic. Nope. Nothing left. Okay, Grunt. Okay, Mouse. Fucking jerking my... Vision upward. I guess at this point the hammerhead was just the natural progression of how the weapon developed. Yeah, self repairing tank ends up being much more effective but, than one that can take like maybe one more second of oh, fire. Anything over here? No. Yeah, let's look over here. That works. And you know, from what you've been telling me of the... Incoming. ...of space vessels, it doesn't seem to be that much different out there either. <laughs> Fight amongst yourselves! Completely ignoring the fight. I am that is an angry hey, AI. BI or whatever it is. Or B. What is the difference anyway? A VI is like a chat bot, basically. It's, oh. It has limited programming and is not self-aware. Well, it got fused with a human brain, so it probably counts as an AI right at this point. Yeah, meanwhile AI are fully self-aware. And always bad news, except Edie, who apparently is not stabbed us in the back yet. 
Let's make us it's got very strictly made chance yeah. where it can. Okay. Yeah, mostly because it's got programming blocks forcefully limiting what it what it can do. Receive an SOS from Atlas Station. Archer has declared a project emergency. We're trying to shut down the power generators to starve the VI, but it's already hacked our automated systems. I'm ordering my people to sabotage the plant any way they can. I get the feeling that didn't work out. No oh, shit. Couldn't we just sabotage the plant and now us? You know, it probably wouldn't do it. any good. I mean, if it doesn't get any power, probably already uh, uh, taking control of any backup. So it doesn't help us. Well, at least somebody's having fun. Oh, I mean, it would probably still affect it if we just completely destroy this main source. Probably. Backups are called backups for a reason. I mean, you're not wrong, but shh, don't argue me with your logic. You should know better than to ask that of me by now. I can't help it. When I get into scientist mode, all of, all of the dodge just goes straight to my brain. <laughs> It didn't look like he was trying to shoot us until we shot first, but okay. <laughs> what do you think? Should we just leave the leave the bot running around or actually uh, shoot it before we leave? Uh, are you receiving this? Come, come on, mm. Shepard, this is Dr. Archer. Please respond. Da, 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 da. I hear you, Doctor. We've hit the override at the station and are moving on. Too late. Oh. Damn it, Grunt. I guess there wasn't much of a choice. <laughs> Damn it, Grunt. <sighs> because of course Grunt would. Yeah, makes sense. Was there a chance to keep to leave it alive? Uh you're asking the wrong guy, I don't remember. All right. Let's find us some other data caches. Piece of work. Vulcan Station was a success. You still need to go to Prometheus Station and override the lockdown from there. Good luck. Thank you, we are aware. Yes, we saw it. And then we then restarted, so we didn't put down. That mean that wasn't technically a guided missile, but okay. Guess we're in the Prometheus station anyway. Wait. Oh, I remember this, and I'm not gonna enjoy doing it. I find it hilarious you can change your squad mate in between doing all this. 
Like they just teleport in and out of the Normandy, right? Sure. Let's go with that. That's totally how it works. Commander Shepard, Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines used in our experiment. Our people there have gone silent. It's likely the VI has activated the defense shields to keep you out. Good luck. That's out, right? That's more than a shield in there. That's a big ass turret. Scanning area. Analysis. Generators are providing power for main shield. Warning. The VI infection has assumed control of the Geth cannon. Warning. We are being targeted. Way to get rid of a target. Yeah. Morning. Yes, cannon is locking on our location. Recommended basic maneuvers. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not sure why the game would be stupid enough to shoot their own shield when they go. It's just targeting our vehicle. I guess we've killed enough good now that they're just not that smart anymore here. That's probably it, right? Sure, let's go with that. Right. Totally smooth landing. Nice work. Now we're gonna have fun. Attention visitors. This server's facility contains hazardous AI technology. You could say yes. Breakthrough is uh, a word. Unhappy AI. What should just be just be having trouble controlling this? Like, oh, that's what that bot on the If that's the case, that was a very uh, costly accident. No, well, they would find it more than this. That's just the better of bad news. Hmm. Strange for them to not be active. That's a word for it. 
especially since it's very clearly active here. Ferrovia is look, definitely looking at us. At least somebody's got a warped sense of humor. I mean, it's Halloween, but I guess what you can get, I guess. Still some warning for something that that would definitely have been nice. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't get shot. I was thinking exactly that. He's just trying to get his self understood. Maybe it's actually fighting I get the eye. That wouldn't be too surprising. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> it's entirely possible. <laughs> they were also researching the gate at the same time. Yeah, that didn't last long now, did it? So it would seem. Yeah, you should have made sure to have a, a stable VI before even so much as bringing any gear to the planet's surface. Well, remember what, uh, what he said. It's not simply a VI. They link the human mind to it. Yeah. They need to make sure it was stable before bringing in any get here. The get were already here. Exactly. Okay. They brought them here too early. Think that does it? Yeah, platforms. Block puzzles! It's something you need to get. I don't care enough. Oh. Well, someday I'll get to bother you with how much of a completionist I am. <laughs> Alright. I knew this was too easy. Come on, let's move. Well, that this was too easy. That one get they died way too quickly. <laughs> oh, her response is authorized. Well, good, because I was going to anyway. All the problems, and that's what the yep. voiceover has to remind. Yep. Severus certainly has the priorities right, don't they? Well, of course they do. They don't have a bad enough reputation yet. That's really bad if I didn't catch that one. Yeah. Like, all the effort they went to build Severus as maybe not so bad. Then this shit happens. What in the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Too late. Now you're dead. Okay. That was interesting. interesting. More. 
One down, a million to go. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't quite cool. It's a million. They probably got way more. I'm trying to be optimistic here. I mean, they've got to run. They've got to run out of resources to make more bodies. Yeah, that's what they have. Or was it an entire planet not fully harvested just so that they could emerge just in the last thing where we stopped at some point? I'm surprised you remember that. It was until then. I didn't remember that. Uh, this is uh, no bueno. I still have not this already. I seem to be in brain mode right now. You know I like things with attention to people, so I notice those things. Fair enough. You know they're not run, running out of bullets anytime soon, because there's because planets like that are still on standby mode. Ow. Yikes. Objective. Survive. Let me get the vines. Let's see a missile coming. Yeah, that's definitely helping. get my tab worked out. Hey, I'm not complaining. Probably got killed with the stupid from lack of friends. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. That's supposed to be how they work, right? Yeah, it's not like that. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Before any more show up. You should just tell me one thing. As robotic as they are, they get tired. <laughs> they are extremely extroverted. <laughs> the less of us there are, the stupider we get. Okay, that's both stations. So the only thing left to do here is find those last couple data packets. And then dive into Atlas yeah, Station. So well, let's find some data packets and call it a day. Commander, you've done yeah. it. The lockdown has been it cancelled. Take so long. You can now breach Atlas. Has the video been coming as well? A little while. You need to find the main server room there to okay. shut down the VI experiment. Good luck. I, my memory serves is actually one close to starting. Down here? No. There's one. Yeah. Probably. Hostile activity detected. Run 
Moment, it's not that active, it is probably have a on this one. Unless it just does not affect the robots. But I don't think we'll hit here. Now we are. Hello there. I do hope it actually saves the other one. Another server is data packet has been recovered. One more remains. Like in between. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, one left. I keep mixing up which button does what. <laughs> yeah, that would be one reason to have more trouble with the hammer here as well. It has a few more buttons than the bigger pancakes. Not that way. I guess it doesn't really have more buttons than the main thing. Because the main could also have a jump and a thrust, right? It had a jump, it had a repair, and it had a zoom button. Like the zoom in button. I thought it had like a propulsion for one. No, it did not. So I guess this does kinda have more buttons, but not really. This one has jump, boost, and. and. Uh, collect resources. Maybe it's past Atlas Station. Nope. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna jump down there. <laughs> So, I have no oh, idea what that is. Right, to do. we can't actually save in the hammerhead for whatever reason. Oh. And I think we couldn't in the Mako either, right? My memory's still, fuzzy. Probably, I probably still, not. Still don't really know why, but. Fuck you, player, that's why. I guess. I mean, I'd rather not, but. <laughs> Here's the real question. Can we pull Can we pull a halo? Doesn't seem like it's something. <laughs> no, we cannot fit the hammerhead where it's not supposed to. Looks like you're in, Commander. Good. I'm getting some That's troubling sad. readings here though. VI is trying to upload its program directly from your location. Get to the server room and shut down the core before it can Right! A pleasant message to receive. So, yeah. next time, Project Overlord yeah. finale. Whatever the hell that was. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Later.